Honey, would you please talk to Andy for me? You're saying that like a question, but it really isn't, is it? No. All right, I'll talk to Andy, but will you do something for me? Anything. All right. I got all day to think about it. Uh, uh, Andy, I've been going over your plans for the Patterson house. Is there a problem? Well, kind of. There's no door. <laughs> so, unless the Pattersons were actually born in the house. I'm sorry, Jim. I'm all screwed up from this carry thing. Thrown up twice already. Need a tic tac? <laughs> Okay. Your sisters want me to talk to you about Carrie. I really miss her. What are you gonna do? I don't know. So we've had our talk, right? Yeah. Okay. So how did Ruby's first day of school go? Oh, not good. When I tried to leave, she ran after me sobbing. Really? Yeah. What happened with Andy? Uh, pretty much the same thing. <laughs> and then he threw up. <laughs> you know, the guy misses Carrie. Hey, honey. Hey, honey. So the treehouse is really coming along. Yeah, and the girls are really excited about it. Yeah. And when I say girls, I do mean Andy. <laughs> I can hear you in there. Andy, what the hell are you doing in the treehouse now? Come on, it's 10 o'clock. Go home. Jim, while I got you here, where do you want me to install the phone jacks? <laughs> I can think of one place, Andy. <laughs> Andy, the treehouse does not need a skylight. Jim, I have an architect's mind. I don't know how to build crap. Yeah, well, apply yourself. Fine. Why don't we just slap together a floor and some walls? Oh, you don't want to do that. Then it would be a treehouse. <laughs> Somebody doesn't want the password to the security system. <laughs> Ask Andy to watch the kids? Give me back my hammer! Are you trying to make me cry, Jim? <laughs> Get it! Get it! Don't look at me! <laughs> I got your hammer now! How do you like that? <laughs> what? What? Cheryl? Cheryl, come on, you're the one who's been lying about this for three days, and I'm the one in trouble? Women, what are you gonna do? And <laughs> Okay, all you do is go up to your dad and say, Daddy, we think that crown molding will add an air of timeless elegance to our treehouse. Can you do that? You smell like chicken. <laughs> Poor Mr. Feeney. Hey, guys. Hey. Jim, I thought you buried him. Well, I didn't. Your sister's all pissed off at me, too. If I were a woman and my husband froze my cat, it'd be a long time before I gave him any sugar. <laughs> Andy, let's not play if I were a woman. <laughs> I don't get it. I mean, all they do is eat, sleep, and stare at you while you're having sex. Women or cats? <laughs> I don't know, we're in a fight now. She's all upset. Who knows what goes on in the mind of a woman? <laughs> Andy? <laughs> hey, Jim. You'll never guess what Ruby, Gracie, and I are doing for your anniversary. Another Uncle Andy's puppet show? <laughs> no. Wow, what's that? This? Uh, this is, uh, Cheryl's anniversary gift. I got it. <laughs> you like it? It's beautiful. How do you do it year after year? Well, Andy, I'll tell you. I don't shop with this, I shop with this. Hey, Andy, you know what? Uh, I'm not really good at wrapping gifts. Could you wrap this for me? Yeah, where's the paper? At the store. <laughs> would, you, would you mind running out to pick some up? Hey, and pick up a card, too, for me, will you? And make it romantic, you know, something with Ziggy on it. Okay. Oh, but let's not tell Cheryl. It'd be great if she thought that you did everything. All right, we'll do it your way. <laughs> I feel so naughty. Hey, come here, come here. Come on, let me ask you something. 
What is the one thing that I really want that Cheryl said will never happen? Donuts with liquor in them. <laughs> no, but I think someone's gonna make a lot of money off that. A big screen TV? Andy, it's not just any big screen TV. This is the mother of all big screen TVs. Look at this, 52 inches, surround sound, and picture in picture. Oh my God, I feel so small in the universe. <laughs> Jim, Cheryl's never gonna let you keep this. Oh yes, she will, because that's the beauty of it. You see, last night she said to me that she'd love anything I gave her as long as it came from the heart. Jim, you are a god to me. Thank you. Hello. A god who's gonna get his ass kicked. Hey! Happy Halloween, nerd. You know, we got a meeting with the Fergusons in an hour. I thought that was tomorrow. Well, it was, till I changed it. Hey! Here. That came for you as in the front. Someday you'll be mine forever, a secret admirer. Ooh, secret admirer. Stud muffin, you're the man. Thanks for pretending to care. You're welcome. It's a doll. Of me. Wow. Some freak went through a lot of trouble for this. I think it's sweet. Someone really wants me. Dead. <laughs> wow. Ferguson's an hour, right? Why are you in such a bad mood? Uh, Dana was over again moaning and groaning how she can't find a decent guy. You know, your sister, there is nothing good enough for her. Now, tell me about it. The glass isn't half empty. It's the wrong beverage. Yeah. Hello, boys. Hey, hey Gabrielle. Uh, what's shaking, baby? Uh, pretty much everything. Uh, <laughs> hey, how about two of those delicious breakfast burritos? And hey, Andy, what are you gonna have? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> boys, it's the highlight of my day. Uh, so are you, my darling. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Andy, I can't understand why Dana can't find a decent guy. I mean, look around, this place is crawling with them. Yeah, it's a meat market. She should come down here. Yeah, that'll require moving her ass off my couch. <laughs> what about that guy? Yeah, he doesn't pop for me. <laughs> what about that guy there? Yawn. Hold it. How about that guy? Yahtzee! <laughs> hey! It's on the list. There is no list, is there? No! Hey, just the person we were looking for. We have a surprise for you, Andy. Say, Jim. Yeah, Andy? What six feet tall, broad shouldered and named Nick Devlin, the welder who we're fixing Dana up with tonight? Gee, I don't know, Andy. That's not how we practiced it in the car. We did it a couple of different ways. Hey, no, 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 I am not doing this. I am not going out with any of your idiot friends. Dana, look. If you're looking for a guy, I found a guy. He should be here any minute. Oh, I'm so out of here. Dana, why don't you just give him a chance? Because, Jim, the last guy you set her up with tried to pay the check with candy. <laughs> Cheryl, she's gonna like him. Andy, isn't she gonna like him? I don't know. Do you like rainbows or sunshine or your destiny? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not interested. I'm leaving. Beer? Sure. Did you hear that? What? The sound of Dana not here? <laughs> now all I've got to do is get rid of you. I hear that. <laughs> Man, my wife's got a crush on somebody. It's me, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's Russell Crowe. She liked him in that, uh, what was that movie where he played a gladiator? Gladiator? <laughs> Why can't anybody remember that title? Gladiator, gladiator! Jim, calm down. You're like my dad after a couple of drinks. Well, I'm not wearing a dress. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, no, she's got a crush on Dana's boyfriend, Nick. He's always in the house. She's talking to him all the time. Oh, this guy's in your house? Yeah. That's bad. Yeah. But you're the one that brought him here. I know, and I can't do anything without looking like a jealous fool. I'm screwed. All right, as Cheryl's brother, I'm neutral. But as a man, 
I think you got to play the jealousy card here. I don't no, know. No, come on. Let her know about one of your crushes. Yeah, Jan, that way you keep things even. Nice. Kind of restore the balance, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, but she's got to be hot. Like, like Judy Jetson hot. <laughs> so who do you have a crush on? I don't know. Let me think for a minute. Oh, I know. How about that girl on the Channel 9 News? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, no, no. But the security's gonna be tight and she doesn't know me. <laughs> oh, I know. Gabrielle from that lunch wagon. Oh, no, no, no. Uh -uh, well, why no. Not? Gabrielle is my crush and I ain't sharing it. Yeah, no law says two guys can't share the same crush. Right. Maybe not now, but 500 years ago, we'd have jousted over her. Come on, Andy. 500 years ago, you're wearing curly shoes and a bell on your hat. <laughs>